that we're looking down the lens here. You can catch this chat on YouTube if you want to check out <laughs> what we're talking about. Best Sheds, 25% off sale is on now. And it is Sattler and Rat. Hello, boys, with your rank shirts. <laughs> Oh, well, oh, easy time. Hang on a sec. I've, I've got an SCN right, shirt on. This idiot's got a shirt on from Liv. Liv Golf. Yes. Which team is it? It's not. It's just a, a shirt that Birds of Condor did. What are you eating? Yeah. Did, you, what pay, you, did you pay for it, Rat? Did you pay for it? What am I eating? I'm eating um, crackers. Yeah, some sort of noodles. Or something. Did you pay for your shirt, Sats, Rat? Sats, can we get off whether I pay for stuff or not? It's not about that. <laughs> okay. So during the break, yep. we're talking about... Rat just coming back from Liv. It's his second year at Liv. He's all pumped for it. He didn't sleep last week. And he said to, to Cohen and I, Daddy Vass, he said, can you confirm or deny Daddy Vass? He said, do you know what? I'm not one for going and getting photos with athletes. Oh, I'm not. Last year, <laughs> I, I said he I stalked one. Phil Mickelson. This I said year, I wanted, John oh. I said I wanted one photo. This is. <laughs> he dead said, said, I'm not a photo guy. Yeah, I'm not I'm a photo not. guy. I'm not, mate, I never go up to. This is, I this, never go this up. Is but a, I, this did is, you get him? It's a bit of an oxymoron. I did get John Rum. There you go. Nice. You did. How did yeah. you approach it, Rat? Well, you didn't know whether it was John mate, Rum or, I, St- I, or I, Sam I Smith. I didn't think it was going to happen because of where I was positioned. Anyway, just. By chance, we're in the media room in the morning. Mm-hmm. There's no one around. There's just the SEN guys. And um, John Rahm walked into the room where we were, which is a smaller room off off the side of a, a bigger room where a lot of people were, and just started getting photos with a guy over in the corner. I'm thinking, why is he here? And then his teammates walked in. Trell Hatton, Scott Vincent um, walked in. They started chatting away. And then he came and stood right next to us. And I said, oh, John, would you mind if I grab a photo? He goes, no, mate, not at all. How far did you move? L- literally a metre. <laughs> no, no. no was, well, it, was it a selfie yeah. or did you get someone to take it for you? No, no. Well, well Nick Del Santo, Del was there and I was going to do the selfie. Oh, and Del goes, no, mate, just give me your phone. This is perfect. It's like, it's like, it's like, you're a bit too quick for me, Rat. Sorry, hang on. John Rahm, Nick Del yep. Santo. Nick yep. Del okay, Santo. let's go. Six AFL figure. play, yeah. yeah. Is yeah. that restart? Yeah, go on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You are the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, Dale just took the photo. How was it, Rat? Was it good? Oh, mate. It was yeah. unbelievable. Sure. Like, it was that, it was just, it was like last year on steroids. Really? They, they had so much more fan engagement stuff. There was bigger fan zones. There was more, you know, um, food stalls, bigger corporate areas. It was just insane. And, I mean, they, I think they had 75 there last year. They had 97 there this year. 97,000 yeah. people, so about no, near on sort of eight or 9,000 more a day, which is um, pretty impressive. To, and what about to the back end of it. yesterday when it started to become apparent that the Australian side was in the mix? They were thereabouts, but, geez, it looked like the crowd started to heat up at the back end of the play yesterday. Well, I actually – I was following yesterday. I was following Matt Jones and Neiman and Louis Oosthuizen. So Oosthuizen mm-hmm. plays in the Stingers and Jones plays in the Stingers and there's uh, – for the for the Rippers, obviously. So – and they knew. So, so there's a guy that walks – like there's a the guy that holds up the, the scoreboard for the fans to see, but then there's a guy with a digital – every group has one, a little like a Surface Pro or whatever. It's walking around. It's got all the scores on it. And the caddies would come over to him. Because they want to know what the, how the teams because they're, they're, all these players are so big on the team stuff, mm. like they love it. So because it keeps them engaged right to the end, it doesn't, you know, because it matters. Every, and every team member matters on day four. So their caddies were coming over to the scorer and sort of finding out where they were team wise. Because with about four or five holes to play, the Aussies were six up, and Miles Fitzner. That he, he, he crowed. He's like, they're home. I'm oh, like, mate, oh. one hole, four birdies for the, <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Stingers. All of a sudden, it's back on. Like, it's a, it's a team game. It's, and uh, anyway, mate, it was just – so So my my group, they actually finished last. So while we were while we were playing the, the second hole, which was their last, uh, Lucas Herbert and Mark Leishman were down by the green waiting for us because they knew if, if Matty Jones could birdie it, um, then they'd win the play. They'd win. How's so the scoring anyway. go, Rat? So I, I know there's, they're in teams of four. Yep. But is it just purely stroke play? So the first two days, yep. it's your best three scores out of your four players. Gotcha. Aggregate. Yep. And then on the last day, it's the best four. And then for the for the playoff, so this is the first playoff in history uh, for for live in the team event. They uh, they they pick two, they they pick their two best, and then they go down to the 18th, and it's aggregate. They add their two scores up. And mate, the Aussies were out of it. They were gone on the first playoff hole. <laughs> they, like how yeah. they scrambled and and saved it was amazing. Leishman made about an eight eight to ten footer, 
and then uh, Cam Smith got out of the bunker and got up and down out of the bunker. Um, and both the South uh, South Africans missed eight foot birdie putts that were so makeable. Wow! Just had a little bit of break on them, but they both missed pretty much from side by side. So one got a read off the other. And then the second playoff hole, both the South Africans put them in the back bunker and short sided themselves, and they were gone. Hey, I heard this. Oh. Hi- oh, sorry, Rad. I heard this hypothetical yep. um, and smart business from Live Two by by only taking the top three in the first two days, you lose the howler, which keeps the field close. Very, yeah. very, yeah. very, Absolutely. very smart. Yeah. Um, hey, Rad, because well, Herbert had plus one, so they would have been out of it. The Aussies would have been out of it completely. Uh... Okay, now let's just have a listen to this, please, tourist Ian Poulter. You'd know of him, boys. Here he is. Mm-hmm. Be careful, because an Australian icon who's now a sports commentator, Matt Rogers, if you hit a hole in one on the 17th, the party hole, he'll be the yeah. one calling it. And this is the type of thing you'll hear, Ian. Looks like Kepik has done that, and this is coming in nicely. Might be a little long. Oh, no, this is right next to the pin. Oh, this could go in. It's running, it's tracking. Hole in one, Chase Kepka. The beers are absolutely <laughs> flying onto the court. Any thoughts or concerns, Ian? Oh. No, listen, no no concerns. I was there. I had a front row seat. I was playing with him. <laughs> I hope someone I hope someone has another hole in one this week. It would be uh it'd be pretty special for for everyone to see. He sounds like a character, didn't he, boys? No, uh, he, he, was on, he, he was on he was on the table last year. Is uh, he the one that gets on, under the skin of everyone? No, he's a lovely boy. Okay. Ian Poulter's a champion. He mm-hmm. was on the tables last year doing a shoey at the um, <laughs> At the Fisher concert on the Friday night. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. He didn't have, a, a, he didn't have a good a event. He finished last in this event. Really? But oh, I, I okay. will say, I was walking out last night at about seven, and he was the only player on the range hitting balls. Like, what? he was out there grinding. Like, wow. he's still focused. Um, but, yeah, it, it was – I will say, Shug, in, in terms of A grades, there was a few of them on the on the party hole on the, tw- on the 12th. Like, they just – too much grog in them and just <laughs> carrying on like absolute pork chops. What yeah. is the what's the makeup of the crowd? Is it mostly blokes on a boys' trip or is there a bit of a mix? The different parts is the beach club, which is on the left side, on the on the sort of western side of the party hole, and then there's the shark shack, which is down around the uh, down around the tee box. The shark shack, that's where it gets loose. Um, that's where it gets pretty crazy down there, down near the tee box. Up at the watering hole end, like which is the, which uh, up at up at the end where I was called the cellar door, and you can probably see by the name the cellar door. It's a little bit more expensive. It's a little bit more classy, and <laughs> you don't you don't get the pork chops in there. But um, some of the behaviour, like they, they, it was really bad on the on the mon, on the on the Tuesday, Thursday afternoon, uh, to the point where on sorry on the on the Friday afternoon. To the point where um, eleven chairs got thrown onto the tee box from down in the, out of the shark shack. So, yeah. Hey, did you see the two guys that dressed up as uh, in high vis and like council? Yeah, right. When bought when bought uh, fake walkie talkies and they just walked <laughs> straight into the lift <laughs> through the workman's entrance and nice. people going, "Where are you working?" On the thirteenth, they just kept walking mm. and then they got changed in the bush just into their casual clothes. Oh. Oh. They've done that a couple of. Big yeah, occasions. outstanding. Hey, it's yeah. great. Uh, you just, just got to walk with confidence. That's yeah. it. Yep. Walk with confidence. That, that is, that's you outstanding. That's now, outstanding. Now, Sugar, you have, um, you have at times when you commentate for SEN League, you've you've had the commentator's curse when, yeah, he'll knock this over with oh, a door yeah, snake yeah, 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 with yeah. a goal kick. Well, Rat on the back of his hole in one last year, this is his uh, commentator's curse when it comes to live. He doesn't miss these. Oh! oh! He shaved the Whoa. hole. He shaved the hole. He shaved the hole. <laughs> oh, my days. I think he should hit that straight through any sort of break that he had. He's run it two foot past the hole. Oh, he yes. doesn't miss these. He's officially a commentator now. Of a that, that was Cam Official. Smith, last yep. hole of the day. Yep. He had a two-footer to go to five under. Mm. So that would have left a bit of a bad taste in his mouth. He didn't quite – he just never quite fired. None of the Aussies like – they played – like Lucas Herbert was good on the last day. Leishman was good on the last day. But they never really – I got it going from back to back days. I, I love how they they do the winners of the team, like the F one mm. supercars that sort of Mate, on should, the dice. I just I, I've been to a lot of good sporting events. I, I can't. I don't think I can top this one. Really? It, 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 the energy, the excitement. The, <laughs> what the a shot of... by Cameron Smith! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Rad, I've got, I've got a question yeah. for you. Like you're the best yeah. golfer out of all of us here. What what are you playing off at the moment? Questionable. <laughs> uh, I'm actually off one. Yeah, one. Okay, that, that, that's a good answer because it, it, it's. I want to put things in perspective, and, and maybe I've asked the wrong bloke, but 
let's just talk about Augusta, right? You're playing there and it's the Masters mm. and it's Rat who's off one mm. versus Cameron Smith over 18 holes. And Rat, you get to you get to start your shot from the furthest part on the green, whereas Cameron Smith's got to start off from the tees. You're off one. He's obviously a professional golfer. Who would win that scenario? You start every hole in the furthest point on the green. Oh, I would win. Yeah. Would he's you definitely pretty, win? He's, he's a pretty good putter. Yeah, yeah. No, boys. I, I, yeah. I, I would in say a landslide. If, if we, if we, yeah. What about what about most? What about most? Putting. Two? Yeah, just putting. I'm just putting. Of course, I'm going to beat him. But you're putting on glass up there, aren't you? Yeah, like, but he's got a putt on it too. Uh, here's the thing: if you put, if you, if you, if you put me off, say the f- most forward tees, yep, and you put Cam Smith off the back tees, I'd still need 15 shots. Yes, like it, oh, I'd probably still need a shot a hole. Actually, I'd probably still need 18. So shots. someone on a handicap of 15 played Augusta and went round in 99. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's so, so it's about fifteen shots harder. Than, so mm. like the the rating on that course would be near him, like it hard. So so you reckon, I, that's, that's what I reckon. So you, what, what reckon. so you reckon if you went to Augusta as a one marker, which is very bloody good, mm. what would be your average putts per hole? You reckon? Well, oh, you reckon it'd be like two know. and a half, three, would it? Yeah, but about, about that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I reckon. Because you, I mean, your ball, you're hitting the, You still got to hit the ball in the right spots, but putting. Where you make them, or you make them up, or you lose them, and yeah, I, want- I reckon I'll like if I if I averaged under three putts around at Augusta, I would be stoked. I wonder Can you what- organise around there, Joel. I'd love to. Mm. I'd, I'd love to know what <laughs> handicap would be the one where it would almost be parody. Hey boys, I, I floated something earlier at the top of the show, and I don't I don't want to make it our whole show about the kickoff. Did you hear me share that? Yes. What do you think? Are you t- oh, was your one the the one um, can't catch it in the end goal on the yeah, floor? Is that that's it? it. That's it. Yeah. 20, Rab- 20 metre yeah. tap off, seven tackle set. The coaches hate that. So now it's on the kicker to drop it short of the, the goal line thoughts. Yeah, I, don't I, mind I like it. it. We, I think we've just got to get it, whether we like it or not, and I'm, I'm a great traditionalist, so I don't want to see it go, but I think we've got to get it around our heads that it's going to change in some format. I think PVL, I think he's, again, I think he's also a real traditionalist. So I don't think he'll – I think he'll try and find something in the middle because I still think he likes that gladiatorial – uh, part of the game. Um, so I think there'll be something in the middle, and I think that seems to be the thing that everyone would possibly agree to. The only other one is two passes off the kickoff. Every but... front row wears headgear. <laughs> Daddy Vass, I've got a challenge for you, Daddy Vass. <laughs> I've got a, a challenge for you starting right at this minute. It's yourself yep. versus the tourist. And I yep. know that uh, I know the rat follows this bloke, and I've been following his bloody character. He's a, he's a Warriors fan. Tim Narky. Have you seen much oh, of him? Yeah, yeah, the black chat. Mm-hmm. Yep. Daddy Vass, yep. head to head with tourists to see who gets Get him on, on the, the show, show first. first. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, easy done. Rats, best mates with him. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a few conversations. Yeah. Or it's all, it's, already in it's our DMs. All, he's already in it's our all DMs. one way conversation from Rats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just hammering. <laughs> no, no. Uh, he's good. He's good. He, 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 mate, he's doing plenty of media. You know, did you see what he, he did? He did a couple of media, media interviews and he. He he lost. He kept losing. Yeah. After the media interviews, and I just he put a ban on, didn't he? Yeah. I said, yeah. well, no. I said, I'm not. Well, you're not coming on our show until you start winning again. He's like, yeah, sweet, whenever. Mm. But yeah, he's 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 entertaining, isn't he, John? Oh, mate, and and, and it, it just went all pear shaped at the worst time. So he just started to chip up, and then they just started losing. They just started yeah. losing. Well, he's back today. He had a good win today. Did he? Oh, good. He, 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 he won on the side bets and the bet. Wow. Wow. A few yeah. weeks ago, I said, oh, we're going to get Rats Man Crush on. And he said, oh, who is it? Is it Tim Nackey? Tim Nackey. <laughs> no, it's Bryce Cartwright. Bryce Cartwright. Cartwright. Yeah. 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 Clive Churchill medalist, now. wasn't he? Or? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and Dally M. And Dally M. Yeah. yeah. Mm, doing it all. Who's mm-hmm. the only player at the moment, I uh, could be wrong actually in saying this, there's not many anyway, who have won a Dally M and a Clive Churchill still playing? Still playing? Yeah. Dally M and a Clive Churchill I think, I think there's only still one. Think Jack Watton? Jack Watton. Yeah, is he the only one? I think he's the I only think one. He would be. Yeah. yeah, I think he would be. Yeah. Has Teddy won a Clive? No. No. A Clive. No. Curious Which player has been player. the most robbed from a Clive Churchill medal? From memory. Andrew Fafita. Oh. Oh yeah, that's a good one. No, I had money on Luke Lewis. So. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, what about 1993? Kevy Walters is the length of the straight, and Brad Mackay from a beaten side gets it. Oh, you know the story about. Um, Jason Stevens, you play with Jason. You would have played with him for sure, Rat, didn't you, Jason Stevens? Yeah, he is. He is so he, he tells is. a story because he started at the Dragons, and yep. 
he takes the very first hit up of that match, compound mm. fra- fracture for his finger, so straight to hospital. Mm. Gets yep. knocked out, wakes up, and Brad Mackay is being presented the Clive Churchill medal. And he goes, yes, we've won the grand final. <laughs> and it was one of those times where, oh. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yuck. Mm. What's on tonight, boys? What's on the show? Plenty. So uh, much. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot going on. We've got Are You Serious? Go, going Like this, It or Lump It. That. Yeah, we've got... Um, Are You Serious? We've got Like It or Lump It. Yes! 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 Mm. Ugh, yeah. We've got three burning questions with Daddy Vass. Mm. Always hits us with three he blind does. questions. They're tough. And we've got our, play, our Sports Day Player of the Year. Poll. A uh, poll. So uh, last week it was Zach Lomax. This is voted by the, by the listeners. Uh, so, yeah, round eight. I think Sam Walker will be a, might be a favourite. Who was your player of the round, Joel? Uh, mate, uh, Sonny Gilder in the under-12s <laughs> for, for Rebels. He, he played all right, got us a win. Um, no, I, oh, look, I saw the Walker game. He was superb. I, I suppose mm. 10 from 10 with the boot. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm taking Cameron Munster. Melbourne. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cameron Munster. What do you get? A what try and four all? tries assist. Yeah, I'm going right. to go Brian Toto, 21 tackle breaks oh, against the that? Cowboys. That was ridiculous. We're trying to find yeah. if that's a record. The has tourist, The tourist has no idea. because they, they don't like tackling at the moment, the Cowboys. They, <laughs> Rat, was, Rat was just saying he, he thinks Brian Toto has set the blueprint for other clubs when it comes to wingers. Yeah, 100%. Has. I, I, I think yeah. he changed the game. Because when, when they started looking at him going, he's running for 200 metres every game. That's yep. taken so yeah. much pressure. Because it went through that stage where it was the six foot three, six foot four winger. Joseph Suali'i like, mm. and now it's you saying it's coming down to that sh- shorter well, compact. Well, well, I, I, mean, I mean, I just think the style of play. Joel Kane, two thousand year two thousand. Yeah. <laughs> Joel and I played. I don't think I ever marked against uh, up against Joel direct. Did I ever? Did we ever play against each other? I know that you used to change side to side when you came up against someone you didn't want to mark. So <laughs> Leslie Vatikolo. Shift... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wish I could have done that. Maybe you would have ripped me a new one. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But, um, no, I don't know if I remember marking up against you, but but I think back in our day, Joel, there, there wasn't as much pressure on us to. I mean, we we get in there and help. Yeah. But but like now, it, you weren't expected to get the team on the front. No, no it, yeah. it is a prerequisite. Yeah. And I mean, I, I think that's probably in the last five five or six years that's when it's really shifted. Mm. Did um, any of you guys play against a peak Matt Utah, like an o four o five Matt Utah? Yeah, uh, I, well, I would have just missed him. He was yeah, a similar-ish yeah. for the Bulldogs in in those prime years. Getting yeah, he was so hard start. to hit. He had no hit zone on him. Yeah, you couldn't tackle him low because he'd cop his knee. Like a tackling a little bowling ball. Yeah, he had no hit zone. <laughs> a lot of, of the time, you end up hitting him in the chin with the shoulder, which you're allowed. <laughs> you you're allowed to do back then. I know. It was cool. the only way you could stop him. <laughs> did you say? Did you say you versed him in two thousand and three? Two thousand and four as well. Two thousand and three, though. Hey, no, I had to chase him. There's no way I was going to get him, but, but I ended up getting him. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Key's getting a ute. Yeah. Yeah, what, was getting it, what was the final name for that? I haven't. I haven't the Tasman. Uh, I think it's a Hyundai Tucson. Is uh, mm. is the one they want, boys? Um, <laughs> what what <laughs> what, good. what else is happening, gentlemen? <laughs> what else is happening in your world? Oh, actually, I'll ask you this from Queenslanders' point of view, and your answer will mm. be we don't care. But who are the two wingers you don't want to see for New South Wales? Oh, Brian Tyler is one, and yep. Suali. Yeah, yeah, and Toto. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're the two wingers they'll be yeah. picking. And I hope Trom Trebojevic doesn't get picked at fullback. Mm. Well, this mm. only this time last week I did the poll and it was a landslide to Lomax. How things shift. Mm. This time last week, actually, I'm in the car and I'm driving home and I'm starving, absolutely Lee Marvin and Sats. And Rat was a little bit dusty, right? He was, oh, yeah. yeah. And Sats, you were talking about it. And I, I was salivating. You, you, you remember what you made that night? Uh, silver side. No. No? No. Oh. It was like a burrito or something or a... Um, you'd... Oh, your Mexican dish. Oh, oh Mexican yeah. chicken. Oh, yeah, oh, rice. Oh, mate, that's yeah. exactly what I'm thinking about right now. You copied off an athlete, you. didn't you? Who was that? Christian Petrarca. Christian Petrarca. Oh, yeah, he Melbourne. does a bit of the cooking. On yeah, TikTok, he's that. got some yeah. really good menus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recipes. yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Fed, you fed me a bit of it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Boys, the mm. tourist turned 30 uh, the other day. I know. How yeah. yeah, good. Happy birthday. Yeah, so what Scottish did you do for your 30th tourist? Did you eat some haggis? He wore no underpants to work. What Scottish? What does that mean, son? Well, you know, like. Did you go home to your? <laughs> did you go back to your, your home roots and say? Did I go home? I'm not, no, I'm the other side of the world, sir. What did you do? What? what did you do that sort of reminds you of home on a, such a significant day? Do you 30? do you celebrate Australia on your birthday, sir? <laughs> I do. I eat, a, I eat a, a big rump.
lamb steak every yeah. birthday. It's Australian. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, no, nothing. We, we we had dinner with some friends, and then we went to the fish market uh, on Sunday. And it was just a lo- lovely weekend. Oh, okay. uh, the cheek of you, Colin. He hates, he hates the, uh, the focus on him, boys. He hates the yeah. focus on him. Well, he said yeah. there was no romance, which I don't believe. Yeah. Nailed by romance. Mm. No, no, there always is. It's, so, it's so called just, birthday. Sorry, well, hang on. Reason. What about Dom's date? Dom, he's oh, he, he reckons it went okay. It went good. Yeah, yeah it went good. Yeah, yeah he's no, up in the no kissing. No. So, mate, the um, the minor pool cleaner just asked, "Can I confirm the prize money for the teams that live?" Mm-hmm. So, the prize money for the team is seven hundred and fifty thousand per player. So, it's three million. So, I worked it out with their individual prize money and their and their team prize money. Matt Jones walked away with just a tad over one point seven million. Oh, uh, good weekend! Um, and the other three all walked away with the same because they finished the same in the individuals of one point five five million. And you got to think about this, boys. Like, from can you imagine being the caddy? Like, you're literally riding home a massive multi every week. What are you on about ten percent? You are, but yeah. Uh, but do you want me to tell you something about the caddies in Live? Yep. Yeah. So they all get ten percent. Live pays it. So the players don't have to pay it out of their oh. money. Live oh. pays for their travel. Live pays for their accommodation. So they are on a ticket like the like the golfers oh. are. Good on them. So so because normally uh, if you're a caddy, you get a wage or you, you win the prize money, and you you got to cover your own accommodation and flights to events. Mm. You, your boss doesn't do that. So they're, they're not getting ten percent. They're getting a, a set fee. Are they? Some are. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but but that, that's what I'm saying. In the PGA, like you got to come out of the... So Tiger Woods might say, mate, you're my caddy, but I'm not paying you 10% because you're learning too much. I'll pay you a million bucks a year. Mm. And out of that million, he's got to pay for his travel and accommodation, all the different events that they go to. And I was speaking to Matt Jones, his brother, Brett. He's a Shire boy. The Shire boys oh, are yeah. boys. Yeah. And Brett was saying, mate, it's, it's, it's unreal for him because like, if you think about it, like for Brett, he went through a phase on the PGA Tour where he missed 11 out of 12 cuts. And... So you got to ch- so you got to re- rebook flights, cancel accommodations, all oh, that because wow. you're because you're not there for the weekend. So and there's no money coming in, so it costs them a fortune. Um, no, I'm not going to cry. I'm not I'm not going to you know get the violin out for professional golfers making truckloads of money. But mm. what they what they've done on live in terms of encompassing the players and making sure they're getting paid every time they go out there, they've done the same for the caddies. So and it takes it, it takes it out of the um, the hands of the uh, of the of the players, which is pretty cool. I love that. I love that. Uh, real yeah. quick before we go, boys, uh, Daddy Vass, how was your weekend, mate? Yeah, good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, See you, boys. I'll be tuning in very, very shortly. Best shares, 25% off the entire yeah. range sale on now.